going on you guys? Today we're going to be learning the song Boys Will Be Bugs by Cave Town. Real quick before we get into it, I would like to ask that if you find this guitar tutorial helpful, that you please consider subscribing. That would really mean the world to me. Now let's get into it. You are watching Logan's Lessons. First thing I want to mention is that this song is an E flat tuning. So tune all of your strings down a half step and we're gonna rock this thing. We start with the D major chord. To do that, you're going to place your index finger on the second fret of your G string your third finger on the third fret of your B string, and your middle finger on the second fret of your high E. To strum this, we're gonna take our thumb and we're gonna place it on the D string, then our middle on the B string, and you're gonna pluck that, and then we're gonna strike with our index finger. Like that, do that with me. Perfect, then we take our first finger up and hit the second fret of our A string. You pluck that with your thumb, and then the open A string in context. Okay, and that leads us right into an A major chord, which is a bar across the second fret of our D, G, and B strings. Alternatively, you could also place your index finger on the second fret of your D string, your middle finger on the second fret of your G string, and your third finger on the second fret of your B string. I prefer to just bar though. In this one, we're going to pluck our thumb on the A string, then our index finger on the G string, and then we're gonna strike. So we have like that. Do that with me. Perfect. Then we're going to hit our A string open once more with our thumb, and then we're going to play the first fret of our A string. Okay? So. And here we have this kind of funky chord. We're going to place keep our first finger there on the first fret of our A string. Our pinky finger is going to be placed on the fourth fret of our D string. Our third finger on the third fret of our G. And this last one's optional. You can put your middle finger on the second fret of the B string if you can. That's not necessary. Again, it's optional. I like to. And here we play our thumb on the A string, our index finger on the D string, and then we strike. So we have thumb on the first fret of your A string again. Okay? Do that with me. I'm going to do that one more time. Do that with me again. Then right here what we do is we slide up, and I like to use my index finger, slide up to the seventh fret of the low E string, then we pluck the D and the G strings together. Very good to the third fret, and you do the same thing. So you have whole thing being. So I would think of that as part A. We also have a part B, and we just alternate between part A and part B. So part A, part B, part A, part B, so on and so forth. I'll show you part B. First things first, we're going to wrap our thumb around the second fret of the low E string for a D over F sharp kind of chord. And everything else for this first chord stays the same, except you're going to lift your thumb up to the low E string to hit that F sharp as a root note. Very good. So you have... All of that stays the same until here. So do that with me. Then what we do is we hit the second fret of our A string, and then we're going to strum we slide up to the seventh fret of our A string and strum. Okay? So the whole thing will sound like this. I'll do that slowly. slowly with me. A little faster now. And full 
full speed. Very good. That gets us into the pre-chorus, the part where he says, I just turned 14, and so on and so forth. We start with an E7 chord. To play an E7 chord, we're going to place our middle finger on the second fret of the A string, and our index finger on the first fret of the G string. I just strum that down, 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 let it all ring out, and then we go to a G major seven. To play a G major seven, we're going to bar our index finger across all of the strings on the third fret, and then we're going to take our third finger and place it on the fifth fret of the A string. And lastly, we have our middle finger on the fourth fret of the G string. This one, we're also going to strum it downward four times, but this time we're going to make it staccato. We're going to add pauses in between the chord, so it's not ringing out the entire time. And the way you do that is by pushing down when you want it, pushing down your fingers, when you want to hear it, when you want it to ring out, and then letting go uh, to mute it when you don't. So we have down, 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 down. Notice how I lift my fingers up off of the fretboard in between strikes. And that gets you into the chorus. We have like. Now let's get the chorus. So the chorus starts with the D major chord. And I'd really just strum this down twice, like down, like that, down, down. And then we go to this chord. You might have played it like this without your middle finger, but either way, so. And then we go to a G major chord, which is like the G major seven that we did earlier. We just in and we just include our pinky finger on the fifth fret of the D string. So you have your index finger barring across all of the strings on the third fret, your third finger on the fifth fret of your A string, your pinky finger below that on the fifth fret of your D string, and your middle finger on the fourth fret of your G string. And we just slide this up two frets to an A major power chord. So this is what it'll sound like. Do that with me. Good, so after you play through that chord progression four times, we go back to the, that piece. Okay, and so really it's just that intro piece that I showed you that plays through the verses. You have your pre-chorus, the E7 to G major seven, and then the chorus. And other than that, it just goes between those three different sections. And then we have a key change for like the last, 30 seconds to a minute of the song, okay? And the key change is like for the chorus kind of piece. And what we're doing is we're going from an E major chord. To play an E major chord, you're going to put your middle finger on the second fret of your A string, your third finger on the second fret of your D string, and your index finger on the first fret of your G string. Again, just strum it down twice, just like we did in the chorus. And then we come up and we're going to play this bar chord like we had on the third fret for the G major chord, just up on the fourth fret this time. Fifth fret, and then the seventh. So this is the same chord shape on the fourth, on the fifth, and on the seventh. So. That is how you play Boys Will Be Bugs. If you have a song request, comment it. If you wish to be notified of future videos, hit the bell. I sincerely hope that you are well. Please do me a favor and hit that like button blue. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too. I hope this video has been a blessing. You've been watching. Logan's Lessons.